Carter, again with skill and balance. A low cross, and what more? I might not have seen a great deal of it. It didn't bounce very kindly for him either. Well, Ian Greaves, even with the prospect of victory, still not a smile. Carter, Walsh, what more? And it's just got in. the hypnotist deserted them and in the end the luck deserted Halifax Town as well but credit them with a really magnificent fight against first division opposition well after the game I spoke with the two managers George Kirby of Halifax and Ian Greaves formerly of Huddersfield of course but now manager of Bolton Wanderers George Kirby I imagine <coughs> that you're a proud man but a disappointed one yeah, that's true you know and we had the champagne out again this week because um, we, we were prepared for anything yeah, but they didn't let you down, did they? I mean, no, they battled. No, they didn't. They did well, and uh, if we'd have equalised a couple of minutes before half time, then the second half could have been a different story. Yeah. You know, John Smith had a golden chance about three yards from goal and blasted it over the top. And that could have changed everything. Really. Well, I think it would because it meant that Ian would have had to go <laughs> in at half time and give his boys a rocket. You yeah. know, whereas he probably patted them on the back when he went <laughs> in there. I wonder if I can put the same point to you, Ian. I mean, obviously you're pleased, proud, if you like, but I wonder if you two are disappointed. Disappointed that you didn't beat them in better style, in better fashion? No, um, the fact that it's only 2-0 really isn't a reflection on the game, I'm sure George will admit that, but it's about taking chances. And after uh, having lots of chances in the game, if Halifax had scored a goal in the last 10 minutes, when it was still 1-0, we'd have had a tremendous match in our hands in the middle of the week. Yes, you would. Yeah. And uh, it would have been a big problem. When you've been in our position that we've been in this season, whereby that is only the second win we've had at home, then it's been rather a tremendous week for us, you know, in a, a traumatic week rather, and a tremendous Saturday. Yes. But in saying that, um, Halifax played exactly like I would expect them with him as manager, because they battled, they chased, and they fought, and they did everything. <laughs> played a bit as well. Right. <laughs> but that is what expected from a team from the lower divisions. Yeah. But they weren't playing a supreme first division side today, they were playing a first division side that's been struggling all season. So it's a very, very good win for our fellows. You talk about taking chances. I mean, Roy Greaves took his chance in the first half well, with help, of course. Yeah, it's a good goal, and uh, I'm pleased for Neil Watmore, really, because he knocked the ball down well for Roy to take it, you know. And uh, the second one, Neil himself got. So that'll do the boy a lot of good, because it's been a season when he hasn't been too happy with himself. Yeah. And as you say, George, that miss by John Smith, right on half-time, could have been crucial. Well, it was crucial. Oh, yeah. I mean, it means you go into the game level, and, and it's not only that level of the score, it lifts your players up as well, you know, it gives them that little bit of that extra acceleration when they need it in the second half. Yeah. And even in the second half, I, I'll admit that we didn't create many chances, you know, but we had a couple of corners in the second half, and I'm very disappointed we didn't score from one of those, because we had good, good chances to do so. Ian, what about these penalty appeals? There must have been something like a dozen, I would think, during the course of the game. Now, oh, Fred, you should know better than ask me questions like that. We've had the second letter we've had this season. I have absolutely no comment to make on the referee at all. Can I put to you, Ian, that um, 
there is still a chance of avoiding relegation? I mean, obviously you've got to be bearing that in mind. We've always got to think that way. We've got to think that way until we need, uh, we need three points from the last game. A year ago raised a great deal of sympathy for the town's football club, but I'm afraid it raised little cash. The chairman at the time, Sam Rook, said that he was going to close the club down. But on Tuesday, Halifax beat Northampton, their fifth win in a row, something they've not done for 16 years. Well, I've said all along, even when we've been struggling, that I thought the team was good enough to be at the top of the fourth division. Um, I've got a lot of players who uh, have got to reach their peak yet, and the young lads that we've brought into the team are doing tremendous. He's still got a bit to do, but uh, is there talk of promotion even in the air? Well, there's not talk of promotion as far as I'm concerned or as far as the players are concerned. I mean, football can easily kick you in the teeth, and in two weeks' time, if you've lost two games, you're back uh, in the doldrums. I think what we've got to keep doing is taking each game as it comes. Um, Luke to try and knock the team off who are just above us. The spirit and uh, the atmosphere at the club are, are A1. We've got, a, we've got a good chairman, Mr Turner, and vice chairman, Mr Crowther. The directors are uh, working and pulling all the right way. And there's a good spirit right the way from the chairman, right the way down to the, the, the cleaning lady. And that's the sort of spirit you want to get success. We've all worked together and pulled as a team. We've very much at the back of one another. Everybody is putting a combined effort to get somewhere. It's time that Halifax Town did get somewhere. The people oh, of the we are trying very hard. Yes, the people of the town must be sceptical because it's happened before and then perhaps they've been let down or they've felt let down. What would you say to the people to, to get them back here to the show? Come and join us. Come and see for yourselves the effort that's put in by the players. So the town should come and get behind us and we'll get even better results. Well, good to see Halifax making progress. Tomorrow they're at home to Bury.